This video demonstrates how to troubleshoot abnormal device disconnections on Weijia Cloud. If a device has been on board to Weijia Cloud but experiences frequent disconnections after running for a period of time, how do we troubleshoot this problem? Possible causes for device disconnections are as follows. 1. The device has been restarted. 2. An IP address conflict occurs between two devices on the network. 3. The device's uplink network is unstable, or the network status has changed. The device is online on Weijia Cloud, but the device log shows an offline record. You can check the system uptime on the device's eWeb and use it to infer the most recent startup time. If the startup time closely matches the device's connection time on Weijia Cloud, the disconnection on Weijia Cloud is caused by a device restart. After the device is restarted, it remains offline on Weijia Cloud. This may be caused by local network issues. You can troubleshoot the problem by checking the possible reasons why the device fails to go online on Weijia Cloud. If a device or client on the network is configured with a static IP address that has already been assigned to another device, an IP address conflict will occur. You can view the IP address conflict alarm on the gateway's web interface by choosing Diagnostics, Alarms, Alert List. Check whether the conflicting IP address in the alarm matches the IP address of the offline device. If they are the same, one device may intermittently go online and offline. To resolve this issue, change the IP address of one device. When there are multiple ISP links at the network egress, a failure in one of these links will result in abnormal communication with Weijia Cloud. When a device is configured to transmit traffic only through a designated link, any issues with that link will result in abnormal transmission and prevent the device from going online on Weijia Cloud. Click the egress router to access its configuration page. Then, click Policy-Based Routing PBR. Click Add Route and configure a rule. Set protocol type to IP and enter the IP address of the device or the range of IP addresses of the downlink device's clients of the device in the source IP address field. Set destination IP to all and select a functioning one interface in the outgoing interface field as required. Toggle on status, set the rule name, and click save. If the connection time for all devices on Weijia Cloud is the same or near, check whether the power supply to the devices is faulty or disabled. If the power supply is normal, the issue may be related to changes on the uplink network, such as an abnormal uplink egress device or network connection. Check whether the uplink egress device and network are functioning properly. To follow this issue, comment on our video or send an email to us. See you in the next video.